Hi. In this video, we're going to breathe four rounds of 10 times fast. So it should take like about 10 minutes. Okay. Make yourself comfortable. You can sit or lie. Make sure if you're sitting down and you become too dizzy, either lean forward and put your hands on the ground or just lie down because the danger of breathing faster is that you can pass out. So never ever do this in water and behind the wheel and whatever. You understand, make sure that you're safe. Here we go. We start with three times exploring the depth of our breathing. Nose in, mouth out. One. Now we're gonna like pump it, breathe as deep and as fast as we can for ten times. Fully in, fully out. And then in and hold. Then, when the dizziness or the sensations disappear, breathe out everything and hold your breath there for as long as you can. Then breathe in and hold. Breathe out. Okay, we do three rounds more. And after that, I will explain a bit, you know, like why I do this in the morning. Here we go again, 10 times fast and as deep as you can. Hands on the ground in front of you if you're sitting. Fully in, fully out. In and hold. Then again, now my sensations change. I could hold my breath a lot longer, but this is time to breathe out and hold it. After breathe, 
breathing out. It's called Kumbhaka in yoga. So. Then breathe in. Hold for 10. One really slow breath. And then we go for round three. Fully in, fully out. Fully in and hold. In and hold. Okay, then the last round, here we go.
bolt here. to go maybe this is a good time to meditate for a few minutes notice how slow your breathing is and try to concentrate on breathing as slow as you can Now, let me explain a little bit what I think is happening. So we have the first 10 times breathing. What happens here, you add just a little bit of oxygen, but you remove a lot of CO2, carbon dioxide. Then, before we hold our breath, I breathe in as deep as I can and I breathe out everything. This is because 70% of our toxins leave our body through the exhale. You're not at the toilet, not, not sweating or whatever else, but breathing out. If you lose weight, you breathe it out. Yeah, so after pumping, if it's 10 or 30 or 50 times, always fully in and everything out before you take your last breath for the breath hold. Then we breathe in and we hold our breath. Now within the breath hold, there's two phases. In the beginning, there's like relatively high oxygen and low CO2. But towards the end, it's exactly the other way around. So after the tingling sensations disappear, or I, you know, like it's just in the beginning, I feel not per se dizzy, but maybe dizzy and tingling sensations. And then when that disappears is where the CO2 starts building up and the O2 starts going down. And then I help it a bit by breathing everything out and holding it there. This is simply because I want to save time because I'm busy in the morning, right? So I could hold my breath for three minutes and like this, it's maybe one or one and a half minutes, but the, the effect is the same. So I save like one, two minutes time per breathing round. That's amazing, right? Then you hold your breath as long as you can. And of course, always make sure you're safe, but you cannot hold your breath and die. You know, like our, our body is way too intelligent for that and our mind is relatively not. So if you feel you wanna breathe, maybe press a little bit more air out or maybe you feel like your body shaking a little bit, totally fine. That holding your breath as long as you can makes indirectly more red blood cells. Yeah, this is what's happening. Because we breathe faster in the first phase, we breathe out a lot of CO2. Within 30 seconds, you have like, you breathe out 50% of the CO2 in your, in your bloodstream, which is pretty, um, pretty intense, you know? And is, you know, some Buteco uh, breathers would say, that's dangerous. No, it's not, because it's temporal. If you would always breathe like that, yes, it would be dangerous. But because it's temporal, it's just shaking up your system. Anyway, that aside. Because the CO2 is so low, you can hold your breath longer. And in that last phase where you breathe out and hold your breath, the oxygen levels like drop massively. And what is happening in your body? Your body is like, wait a minute, there's not enough oxygen in the system. And it makes the hormone EPO. And EPO is responsible for making more red blood cells. So 
not per se this technique, but any breathing technique with breathing faster and holding the breath, which I find at this moment the most intelligent ones, you create a lack of oxygen in the breath hold. And this is where your body starts making EPO and therefore more red blood cells. So it's like high altitude training. You know, some sporters go into the mountains because there's less oxygen in the air there. And because of that, EPO is made, you have more red blood cells. And this is also another reason to do this every day. Within, I believe, seven to 10 days, you make new red blood cells. Yeah, so within like two weeks, you should already have more red blood cells. Anyway, the sportsman that does high altitude training, goes training like a few weeks in the mountains, makes more red blood cells, comes back to ground level, does his thing and is stronger than his counterpart because there's more oxygen available for the muscles. Now this breathing technique and Wim Hof method breathing or any breathing technique with breathing faster and breath hold is creating this effect. And then the last part, the recovery breath, I'm kind of used to it. It feels like really good also. So this is very much a feeling thingy. Um, okay, um, that's it. If you have questions about this, let me know. I will make another video. So this is clearly the video for at home because if you breathe like in any public space, really try it once. People will think you're crazy, call the ambulance and they will not leave you alone. So even if you don't give a damn, it's just very un inconvenient. So I will make another video where I adjust my breathing to the decibels around me. Or that is, well, that is for next video. I hope this helped. Uh, let me know if you have a question. Thank you for watching.